Hey guys, Julian from Rode here, showing you some of the powerful functions of the new Soundfield by Rode plugin. For the purposes of this showcase, we went out into the field with the NTSF1 microphone and recorded two skateboarders at a skate park. The result of this recording was a four channel A format audio file, but in order to use this audio in a piece of content, we'll need to convert it. This is where the Soundfield by Rode plugin comes into play. This powerful plugin was designed to not only perform the necessary conversions for spatial audio, but also to take advantage of its flexible nature. Let's take a look. First thing to consider is the DAW or digital audio workstation that you're going to be using. It'll need to be able to output more than two channels if you're planning on working with surround sound. Examples are Pro Tools HD, Nuendo and Reaper, which we're going to be using today. Once you've downloaded the Soundfield by Rode plugin and installed it in the correct place, launch Reaper and import your A format audio straight from the NTSF1. The audio from the NTSF1 will appear as a four channel PolyWav file. These four channels of audio represent the raw audio from each of the four capsules on top of the NTSF1 microphone. So what we're gonna do is open up the Soundfield by Rode plugin on this channel and set the input to the format that we are working with. In our situation here, we use the NTSF1 to record our audio. So we'll just leave that set here. Then we'll need to double check the microphone orientation. If the microphone was positioned horizontally or inverted, we can accommodate for this here. But on the day we had this set upright, so we can just leave this setting as is. Then depending on what we're creating, we can set the output to the format or standard that we need. Whether it's just a stereo output for a YouTube video, a B format output for further spatial editing, or a full 7.1.4 surround mix with height channels for your home cinema. It's entirely up to you. Once we're happy with the conversion and the levels, we can affect the polarity of each channel and their positioning. This will ultimately affect the localization and focus of each incoming channel, as we have the option of changing between cardioid, supercardioid, and beamforming. For example, we might want to output a mono channel and we want to follow the skateboarder around the NTSF1. If we set the mono channel to beamforming, this will apply a spatial filter to the channel that reduces spill from all other directions thus increasing its focus. Then we can follow this skateboarder around the NTSF1 in real time by carefully watching the histogram for his location and automating the channel's positioning. So there you have it. Some of the features of the most powerful spatial audio plugin in the world, Soundfield by Rode. Comment below, leave a like, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Rode products.